and just let me play my shit across all of them. It's so frustrating. Yeah. It, yeah, that's way, way, way too many stuff. Like, that's why I'm, like, trying to cut down on things that I don't use. I'm, like, cutting it out. I'm like, okay, that's just too much. It's, it's just ridiculous. It's very frustrating that that's what I've got to do to be able to just do what I want. Mm. Like, just the fact that... Because I like listening to books while I drive. Like, mm. audiobooks is what I like to just listen to while I'm doing cognitive yeah. things. And it's so frustrating. Although I do like the fact that I can now listen to my podcasts through the Google Home. That's awesome. I'll just... Listen 90% of the time just the podcast. When I'm driving, it really depends. Sometimes I listen to podcasts, sometimes I just listen to music. Yeah, it is always nice to have like a good. I don't know. A good audio book can make a, like a two hour thing disappear in what feels like 10 minutes. I agree, yes. Listening to this, actually, I listened to um, Katie Mack's End of Everything, it's called. It's uh, she's an astrophysicist and she's talking about the end of the universe and how the theories about how it is going to happen and which is the most likely and how the universe exists to start with. Well, there you go. JT was just saying, prove me how do I exist, blah blah blah. I don't believe that I exist, prove me. You should have talked about that. (laughs) So that one, and then on right before that, I listened to Neil Gaiman's um, Norse Gods, mm-hmm. I think it's called. Yeah. So that's the story of all of the Thor and Odin. And then immediately after that, it was Stephen Fry's Mythos, which is the Roman and Greek, I uh, say Greek gods, which is also yeah. 